From a woman lost in a hole on the beach to the unfortunate souls lost within the horrifying devil's hole, here are 10 of the most insane cases of people disappearing into holes. Number 10. Teenagers Discover Missing Man This was a very strange encounter for a group of teenagers who discovered a missing man stuck deep inside a hole two weeks after he initially vanished. This is as weird as it sounds. James Thompson, age 51, was on the verge of dying when two best friends and their teens found him walking through the forest. They could hear his cries for help echoing from within a brick-walled hole underneath a bridge. One of the teens entered the empty chamber beneath the bridge and found James deep inside of a hole, where he had apparently crawled into for shelter after breaking his ankle. The authorities were eventually called and James was rescued. Apparently, after crawling into the hole, he'd been unable to get back out of it. He ended up being stuck in there for weeks with no food or water. According to the authorities, if James had been down there for one more day, he likely would have died. He was emaciated, dehydrated, and in horrible condition. If it hadn't been for the curious teenagers, James might not have been found for months or even years until someone else descended into the hole beneath the bridge and found his skeleton. Number 9. Man Gets Swept Away in Drain Pipe The Phoenix Fire Department in 2019 was called to the scene of an extraordinarily strange accident. It all started when a local man in the Mexican city of Hermosillo fell into a sinkhole and was carried away inside of a storm drain. The story is almost too unbelievable to be true. Local rescue teams asked the Phoenix Fire Department for help, and they happily went down to assist with the search. What happened was that the street caved in while a sinkhole opened up, and a man just so happened to be walking by at the worst possible time. The hole opened to an underground storm drain and the man was carried off in the water current. This is probably the worst thing that could ever happen to you while just trying to walk down the street. Here he was standing on the concrete one second and being carried through a sewer the next. According to the ABC News, authorities were having a nightmare of a time finding the man because there were several different drain pipes that he could have been carried through. The rescue operation ended up being extremely complex, with the Phoenix Fire Department working with authorities from Juarez and Hermosillo. Unfortunately, the rescue attempts were in vain. The man was never found, and the Phoenix Fire Department had to return home. It's unclear if the man will ever be found. Number 8. Man Falls Through Sidewalk Everyone knows that New York has the most malicious holes in the ground. A man recently had the most traumatic experience of his life when a sinkhole opened up on the sidewalk of a busy Bronx area and swallowed him whole. Leonard Shoulders had been walking to a bus stop when the concrete gave out beneath his feet. He fell into a chasm that was 15 feet deep, 4.5 meters, and was trapped underground for at least 30 minutes. And while tumbling into an abyss under New York City would be a nightmare of its own, apparently what happened to Leonard at the bottom of the hole was even worse than the falling part. According to the report from the BBC, Leonard had rats crawling on him. He couldn't move and he couldn't yell because he was afraid the rats would scurry inside of his mouth and eat him from the inside out. Firefighters were called to the scene of the accident and Leonard was eventually rescued. There's even CCTV footage of the man tumbling into the chasm beneath the sidewalk and video footage of him being wheeled into an ambulance while strapped to a stretcher. The man was then taken to the local hospital and treated for injuries. Luckily, Leonard was last reported to be in stable condition and will likely be fine other than a bit of trauma. Being attacked by rats for 30 minutes while crippled must be absolutely terrible. What's the deepest hole you've ever seen in your life? An old stone quarry? A well that seemingly goes on forever? Or something even more impressive and scary? Tell me about it in the comments below. And of course, be sure to subscribe to American Eye if you haven't already for more awesome videos you didn't even know you needed to see. Number 7. The Devil's Hole The Devil's Hole is probably one of the worst places on Earth. The Devil's Hole is located near the Funeral Mountains and Death Valley, not two places overly synonymous with life and happiness. And while the desert of Nevada is a horrendously dry place, there is in fact a system of caves filled with water underneath the crusty sands. One of the gateways to this subterranean kingdom is known as the Devil's Hole. The vast complex of underwater tunnels and caves which one can access through the Devil's Hole has never been fully explored. The total depth has not even been reached by any diver. This place is so remote that scientists estimate the animals living inside the isolation of the underwater caves have been evolving independently for at least 25,000 years. As you can probably imagine, such a place is ripe for explorers. But not everybody comes back. In 1965, two youngsters went diving in the Devil's Hole, equipped only with snorkel masks and flippers. They were never seen again. It's unclear what happened to them or where they went, but considering how complicated the underground passages and tunnels are once entering the Devil's Hole, they could have ended up anywhere. It's likely the teens won't be found for another few thousand years until underwater archaeologists discover their remains. Number 6. Swallowed by a Sinkhole 
It seems like there's no escape from the danger of randomly falling into a hole. One of the most recent tragedies involving a man and a sinkhole happened in Florida when a giant pit opened up on a Thursday night beneath the bedroom of a man in his Tampa home. He was woken quite suddenly, he screamed for help, and his brother ran into his room only to see a giant hole where his bed had once been. According to the brother, everything was gone in a flash. The man's bed, his dresser, his TV, and the man himself. The Florida man's brother tried desperately to dig him from the rubble, but it just didn't do any good. Police soon arrived and had to force the brother out of the building because the floor was still in the process of collapsing. Everyone else escaped from the house with their lives, other than the poor guy who fell into the sinkhole. According to the report from CNN, rescuers couldn't even go into the hole because it was just too dangerous. The entire house could have collapsed at any second, and there was no knowing how deep the hole could be. Unfortunately, the man's body was never recovered. Number 5. The Mystery of M Cave The mystery of M Cave is nothing short of baffling. It's a long and horrifying story, so prepare yourself. It all started when a hiker named Kenny Veach went wandering through the desert. Kenny was wandering near Nellis Air Force Base outside of Los Angeles when he allegedly found a hidden cave. The entrance to the cave he claimed was shaped like a perfect capital M. As a serious hiker, Kenny usually entered the caves that he found. But when he tried to enter this remote cave, he said that his whole body began to vibrate and the closer that he got to the entrance, the more violent the vibration became. He ended up getting extremely scared and running away. He posted his experience on YouTube and people commented, encouraging him to go back and record this strange cave. So Kenny did just that. He set off to look for the mysterious cave, armed with a handgun and a video camera. He returned and posted a video of what he discovered, which wasn't much. He couldn't find the cave the second time. His followers were pretty upset about this and people began to call him a phony. So he decided to go looking for a third time. On November 10th, 2014, Kenny set off once more to look for the MK. He told his family he was going for an overnight trip, but this was one trip Kenny never returned from. The third time he went looking for the cave, he never came back. This is outrageous considering he'd been doing this kind of thing for over 20 years. Kenny was not the type of person to get lost or run into trouble in the desert. Nonetheless, Kenny vanished and has never been found. The only piece of Kenny ever recovered was his cell phone from near an abandoned mine shaft. Unfortunately, the mystery of Kenny Veach and the M Cave will likely never be solved. Number 4. The Boy Swallowed by Sand Here's a horrifying story for the parents out there. Disaster struck a family while relaxing on a July afternoon at Lake Michigan. They were hanging out at the Indiana Dunes National Lakeshore when a six-year-old boy vanished beneath the sand. The children were fighting with each other, racing to the top of a sand dune, and suddenly, little Nathan vanished. The boy's father quickly got onto his knees and tried to dig the boy out, but it was useless. Nathan screamed from down in the dark that he was scared, and that was the last they heard of him. Everyone in the area ran to help and try to retrieve the boy. 911 was called, seconds turned into minutes, and minutes turned into hours. Tools showed up, excavators, firefighters with shovels, but nobody could dig the sand out quickly enough to reach little Nathan in whatever hole he had fallen into. It eventually took heavy machinery to get Nathan out, but it wasn't until four hours later. He was uncovered 23 feet, 7 meters beneath the surface of the sand, cold as ice and unresponsive. But this story ends in a miracle. The boy was taken to the hospital and made an unbelievable recovery. Doctors had to suction sand out of his mouth and lungs, but within two weeks, he was back home playing with his siblings. According to the authorities, the boy had fallen into a hollow hole in the sand left behind by a tree that had once stood on the hill. Number 3. Woman Vanishes Into Volcanic Hole when Caroline Sundebaum was hiking up Oregon's Mount Hood, she got a bit more than she bargained for. She stopped at around 10,000 feet to wait for her friends, took her backpack off to sit, and toppled into a volcanic hole hidden beneath the snow. But this wasn't any volcanic hole. It was a crevice where hot gas from within the volcano is spewed. But Caroline was lucky. There was no hot gas, and the crevice only ended up being 15 feet, 4.5 meters deep. She was also lucky that one of her peers witnessed her tumbling into the hole, otherwise it's unlikely she would have ever been found. The impact from falling dislocated her shoulder, but she was ultimately rescued by her fellow climbers within the hour. This is good because inside the crevice were possible toxic fumes that could have proved deadly. Number 2. Woman Falls Into The Pavement No matter where you go in the world, it seems there's always a small chance that the pavement could break beneath your feet and send you plunging into a dark and horrifying hole of despair. As reported by Metro News, a teenage girl in China disappeared into a void when walking down the sidewalk. Luckily, a passing taxi driver saw the incident and ran to help the girl out. The taxi driver actually climbed down into the hole, which was about 20 feet deep, 6 meters, to try and save this girl's life. She was crying, scared, but miraculously not injured. With the help of firefighters who quickly arrived at the scene, 
The girl was rescued from the pit and she turned out to be completely fine. The collapse was likely caused by water beneath the ground, which eroded the earth beneath the pavement, causing it to cave in when the girl stepped onto a weak spot. Number one, woman buried alive. This is truly terrifying. It's not every day that police find a woman buried in a hole in the sand on the beach. According to NBC Washington, an investigation was recently launched by the police in Ocean City, Maryland, when a tourist from Texas was buried alive. But this story is much stranger than it seems. Ashley O'Connor was found deceased on the beach early in the morning. She had allegedly walked alone to the beach in the middle of the night and then subsequently went missing. But nobody knows what happened between her disappearing and a beachgoer finding her arms sticking out from the sand. According to the medical examiner, Ashley had suffocated during the night. But how exactly did this come to be? Well, the police determined that she had entered the hole in the sand voluntarily, but that it had likely collapsed by accident, trapping her inside a sandy grave. She couldn't get out, and so unfortunately, she died. However, even as the investigation was closing, police were unsure who had dug the hole, if someone had been there to coax her into it, or if alcohol was involved. Let this just be a lesson to everyone out there to be careful when playing at the beach. Never dig a hole so big that you could accidentally be buried in it. Which of these stories is the most terrifying? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and thanks for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and come back soon for new content right here on American Eye.